This is Candy with eyes to jesus.blogspot.com and welcome as I give you my July planner tour. I know this is July 12th, but better late than never. And uh, you know, this is also a very fun planner month because this is in the planner community known as One Book July. Well, I'm always in one planner, and uh, this is the one planner that I'm currently in for July. And this is a personal Lux size Moterm ring planner. Uh, it's got inch and a quarter rings in it. It comes with 30 millimeter rings. I took those out and put an inch and a quarter Franklin Covey rings, which is just a hair bigger. And uh, it's in the gray Croco. I love the gray Croco. I think it's definitely one of my all-time ever very favorite uh, Croco colors. And of course, if you know the Mo terms, they are real leather, but they are affordable and they're fairly nicely made, surprisingly, for the price. So let's get into this and I will give you a tour of what's inside this view. So here it is. I got this laid flat. Um, I know a lot of people like overhead views. Uh, I don't particularly like to film those very much because it's too, many, too much close up to my planner and my planner is very personal. Uh, but I do like sharing it nonetheless. I hope it inspires and motivates people, helps give you ideas. I love watching planner videos. I've been watching planner videos for years. So uh, I like that I can contribute to the planner community. So going inside, I do have some things anonymized in here. Okay, so in front pockets, in the front zipper here, I keep some change. In this side pocket, I just got some extra journaling cards. And then in the secretarial flap, I just keep a little bit of spending cash. And then I just have a, uh, a magnetic page marker right here for decor or if I need to use it. And then I have this Ollie clip. It's holding this journaling card here. And it's also, again, it's another clip if I need to use it. And I just have a journaling card here. Home is where our story begins. And then just some decor in these three card slots. Now, we move to the leather fly leaf that comes with the planner. I have a bigger Ollie clip here. This is my favorite one. And the fly leaf has a pen loop on it. So I keep my secondary pen here. And this is just a standard ballpoint pen. I keep it for writing checks, filling out forms, things for the bank, just stuff like that. It's also a backup pen. So if I'm out and about, if my main pen over here goes kaput, I can move to this one. Okay, so on the inside of the fly leaf, uh, there are some pockets here. So uh, I have some. Avery labels, Avery dots, and whole reinforcement stickers, and then just a little uh, magnetic bookmark. And uh, these magnetic bookmarks, I think they're Happy Planner from years ago, so I just had them from my stash. Um, uh, and then the whole reinforcement stickers, of course, are for if any pages rip out, I can fix the holes. Uh, the dots and the labels are just for highlighting or marking things, or for correcting mistakes, I can put a label over it and write on the label, etc. Okay, so my first main page here, this is a laminated sheet of paper, and I have some scriptures here. And then in the other side, some more scriptures. Then we got our current family picture, and this sheet's laminated as well. And this sheet has a little top tab stuck to the top, because if I grab it and flip it over, it comes to my running grocery list. And then on the other side of that page, we just have a couple's picture, a current couple's picture of my husband and I. And this is a grocery list. I just write them things that we run low on or we run out of. And then uh, on the next page, uh, the day before I plan to get groceries, I'll write out my official grocery list. So I will reference this, I'll reference my menu plan, I'll look at my master grocery list, and then I'll write out the official list in the order of the aisles and the store of which I shop. So I just keep several sheets of uh, various fill of paper uh, up front for that. Now we come to my dividers. I have six main dividers. They are homemade and they are getting uh, raggedy and that is just fine. My planner is getting raggedy because, well, it's been, uh, it gets used. It's open and closed and used in reference every single day. Uh, so it's used and it's well loved. So my first divider is labeled home and this is my homemaking section. I have a poem here, Do the Next Thing by Anonymous. I have my daily tasks, which currently I'm working on a different daily task cleaning system to see if I like it, and if so, I will switch to this. And 
Then I have my children's chores, which their chores are being switched around, so it's over here. And then their table chores are over here, which also has a lot of revisions to it. Uh, yeah, you're going to see a lot of uh, revisions and scratched out things and things in process in my planner because July is a month where I'm really changing things up, revising things, etc. Uh, July we take off from homeschool. We'll get into that in a minute. Okay, so and then I have this pocket. Uh, there's currently nothing in it. Uh, but I keep uh, cash in here when my kids are doing paid chores and then I will grab from this to pay their chores out each week and this is right as track their paid chores. Okay, and then we have scripture and then we have my uh, deep cleaning organization and projects list and I just keep a little flag to mark where I'm at. Sometimes this flag moves slowly down the list and sometimes quickly because some of these uh, projects uh, take longer to do than others. Uh, sometimes I can only work on a project once a week or once every other week or four times a week maximum. Alright, so then after that I have my master grocery list. I just reference this when I make my grocery list to help me uh, visualize what I have and what I need. Okay, and then under construction is breakfast ideas, lunch ideas, and supper ideas, and they also have suggested sides. I got my menu planned for the week. I always plan out our breakfast, lunches, suppers, and their sides for the week. Uh, this is our Thanksgiving and New Year's menus because I usually host for those at the house. Okay, and then this side tab, so I can turn to this page easily. This is the table of contents to my recipes. Uh, my recipes pages are numbered, and then the table of contents are to the sections. And then inside each section, my recipes are in alphabetical order. So if I wanted to look up my meatloaf recipe, then I would turn to page 9, where main meal start, and then I would just flip through the pages until I get to the M's, and I would find meatloaf. So just turning to a random section here in the recipes, that's what that looks like. And that takes up the rest of my homemaking section. Now my next section is my homeschool section. So I am a homeschooling mother. I have four children. I have two grandchildren. And I do live a very busy but happy life. Uh, so this is my homeschooling section. It's a complete mess right now. It's defunct right now because we don't homeschool in July. So we homeschool Monday through Thursday year-round via the Trivium method, but we take Julys off. And July is where I work on my planner and I get our new homeschool stuff ordered. I work on the homeschool and we start the new homeschool year next year, next month, the new academic homeschool year. So if you would like a detailed tour of my homeschooled section and how I set it up and how I use it, tune in to next month's planner tour where um, when I give that planner tour I will hone in and focus in on the homeschool section as I go through. Meanwhile, we'll flip to my next divider which is budget. So here in my budgeting section, this is a synonymized, but this is my budget guide and uh, I just have uh, financial reminders written down there and also uh, just which bills I pay on which check, um, which bills auto charge uh, from the bank, which ones I need to pay manually, etc. That's just all there. And then I reference this when I make the budget. And I just do my budget on filler paper. I don't do anything fancy. So I'm going to flip to the next divider which is reference. And inside reference, uh, I just have some personal information. I like to keep in the divider anonymized here. But uh, my reference pages are numbered, and then I have a table of contents to them. This is where I just put other things where they don't need their own section, but I do want them in my planner. So I have gift ideas, birthdays and holidays guide, stock list, perpetual calendar, family information, codes, directions, context, health, and food. You might notice some of my words are punched out. That's because this planner originally was uh, in a compact size Franklin Covey. Compact size Franklin Covey pages, the holes line up, they're the same length, but the pages are a bit wider. So when I decided I definitely wanted to go back into personal, I just cut all my pages more narrow and repunched and put them in. Temporary solution. I'm probably going to uh, reprint and rewrite this stuff out if I have time later this month when I work on my planner and set up uh, the next homeschool year. Okay, so my next divider is labeled Assorted. And I just have various Bible study notes and just various notes and things in here. The first page in here is a joke to-do list. Um, and then I also keep uh, extra filler paper here in the back for if I need filler paper for anywhere else in my planner. My next divider is labeled planning and this is my 
planner portion of my planner. So we go in here and we have a, another couple's picture of my husband and I and I have year at a glance for 2022 and on the other side is 2021 and 2023 and this is a Filofax one and then my month on two pages in here I am using Franklin Covey compact size sandstone. Um, I trim them more narrow and repunch them so that they'll fit in here so some of the rings are punched into some of the squares on my calendars not a problem I'm fine with that. So we turn to July. This is my July calendar on the sandstone. So let me uh, flip here to August because August is more blank. And then you can see what uh, a blank Franklin Covey punched and re-trimmed re more narrow and punched uh, Franklin Covey compact sandstone inserts look like for the month and two pages. So and I have uh, all of month and two pages in here for all of 2022, including the previous month's in case I need to reference back to old appointments or things. Okay, now my page marker brings me to today. Now I am doing day on two pages, but I am doing size three, which is the same size as personal size, um, at a glance day on two pages. And I love these inserts a lot. Okay, so I have my first page here. On my page marker, this is a Franklin Covey page marker, so you can actually slip things in here. So I just have some notes for me in there. I have my schedule, which is very written and scratched about because summer. Uh, and then I have my second page. So let me flip to tomorrow, which is more blank. So this is where I write down my to-dos and my tasks list. Under expenses, I do tracking. It may or may not have anything to do with expenses. And then you have time schedule. This is where I write appointments or when I write out a schedule when my days are different. Uh, in the month of July, uh, oh, I'd say at least over half the days of that month I'm writing out a schedule because I can't follow my master schedule. July is my busiest month of the year. Okay, and then my set, and then the second page is notes. So I'll usually write down our meals, my cleaning, the kids cleaning, any other pertinent information I need to know. If I have a task over here that's big and daunting, then I might take that task and come over here and break it down into smaller baby steps. Uh, and then that makes it a bit easier. And I only keep one month at a time of day on two pages uh, in here. So right now I have the month of July. When we get to the end of July, I'll take out July and I'll put in August. So now we move past all my planning pages. And then I have a filler sheet of paper back here, Future Planning 2023 Plus, anonymized because I have several things in here. Or I just write down things coming up next year and beyond. After that, we come to my back matter. I have uh, one of those plastic uh, zip pockets, and I just keep some various uh, cards, appointment cards, and extra stuff in here. So that's why it's anonymized here on the back, because I have my next appointment card showing through. I always like to have uh, our next appointment card, the very next date of the very next appointment card for whoever it is showing through back here. And I, of course, always write them down on my calendar the moment I get the cards. And then this is currently, um, doesn't have anything in it, except for just a little sheet of blank paper, but this is a top loading pocket with a flap and um, these are on Amazon. It wrongly, and you can get a pack of like a dozen of them. It says they're A6 size, they're not. They're personal size. There is a difference between A6 and personal, just like there's a difference between A5 and uh, classic or desk size. Okay, and then after that I have my back page lifter and then we come to my back pocket. So the very back pocket, I just have my uh, mission statement and then in the next pocket, I have um, deposit and withdrawal tickets for my bank. The next pocket, and then I have a few blank checks that I keep with me. And then the next pocket, I have some uh, various different size sticky notes that I would use. And then in these pockets, I just keep my cards and my washi tape. And then, of course, my main pen. And then the big back pocket, I have papers from my church, Bible study notes, bills waiting to be paid, anything else like that that I want to uh, keep in there. So this is my current planner setup for July slash one book July. And like I said, next month I will go through my homeschool section on next month's tour and go through that in more detail. Have a blessed day.